was a conscious decision in my life to be involved in something that was flowing and dynamic and living, something that had a life of its own, and I was just a part of it. This is the Holy Grail here. This has never been seen. I don't know why. What is it about the Grateful Dead? Grateful Dead. The narrative of the Grateful Dead was that we're the same as you. You're the same as us. There is no real distinction. The camaraderie and the fellowship in that is so powerful. Yeah, let's have some fun. We were experimenting with psychedelics as much as we were playing music. It's a philosophy of leaving yourself open to possibility and leaving yourself open to magic. The acid test experience really formed the band as a group mind. Within 30 minutes, I could find any drug that I want. Uh-oh. Are we being pulled? Sound. That's the link between them and the audience. We built the wall of sound with our own two hands. It was like the voice of God. If you weren't in the audience, you were included in the experience. We should have known that something was coming when there were more people outside the show than there were inside. There was a strong belief that it'd be leaderless. <laughs> Who was in charge? Well, I'm so glad you asked that. There were times when I was in charge, times when Jerry was in charge. A truck that had a blown carburetor, that carburetor was the boss. It was total chaos. Spinners would be out in the hall, and they'd be bowing as they thought Garcia was a problem. Jerry Garcia did not bargain to be the mayor of a traveling countercultural town. It was a machine by then. Do you know how many people are depending on this show going down the road? Where's the freedom in that? It's not up to us to define the Grateful Dead. It's this living, breathing thing. I think that's one of the parts of its magic. Not defining it is that it becomes everything.